<laughs> Hulk smash. Today I'm going to talk about one of the comic books that I worked on. It's uh, The Incredible Hulk, Last Call. This is one of the books that I worked on. Uh, recently, one of the viewers who watches my videos commenting, uh, asking if I can show original art that I've done for this book. So right, right over here, this is the book that I worked on. Uh, Incredible Hulk, Last Call, and then I helped out on some of the ink. So let me show you the credit page right over here. Where's my name? Right over here. Hold them all. That's me. And here's here's the uh, comic book that's published. And we're gonna check out some of the Hulk pages, original art, as well as me flipping through the book. So you can compare the original art with the published page. So here we go. Here you go. Uh, here's the Hulk, uh, Incredible Hulk Last Call. Uh, here's the cover. Okay, we're gonna go through each page and then look at the original art that I've worked on. So here's the uh, credits page, Incredible Hulk credits page. And then we're gonna keep flipping until we see pieces of artwork that I worked on. So here's some of the inside uh, pages. Uh, this is uh, ink with Few people inked this, uh, Mark Farmer, Mark Deering, Walden Wong, and Scott Hanna. So I helped out on a few pages. So here's one of the pages. I, I, didn't, I don't know who worked on this page. So you can see some of the other uh, inkers inking over the same penciler. Okay, right over here. Okay, there's, here's another page. I didn't work on that page. So the first page I worked on is page nine. We're getting close to that, uh, right over here. Oh, wait, I worked on it right here. Here's page nine. Here's page nine, and here's the original art to it. So check that out. So the Incredible Hulk right over here, he's talking. And then uh, you see there's an image on the background. Here's the original art to that. Okay. Look at that. Check that out. And then on the bottom, they shake hands. Okay, so let's take another closer look at the original art. So right over here. Yeah, comment down below if you uh, have any comments about the original art. A lot of times when I'm looking at a comic book, uh, you can't see all the line work because uh, the line work is co covered by the colors. So there's that page. That was page nine. And then I'm going to keep flipping on by. Okay, that, that's another nice page. I didn't work on that one. <laughs> and then here's the Incredible Hulk. And here's this page. This is page 12. Uh, page 12 is where... Uh, they're in bed and then they're like uh, getting comfy with each other and then here's the original art to that page let's take a look okay I'm gonna show you this original art okay here's the top here's the first panel here's the second panel I enjoy doing these uh, backgrounds over here the second panel the third panel and the fourth panel. Now let's look at the side by side comparison. Right over here. There we go. And let's continue on. Next page is page page 13. This is uh, the page. Let's take a look at the page. Right over here. And then uh, the splash panel right over here. And let's take a, look, take a look at the original art. So, original art's over here. Again, I enjoy doing these backgrounds. Background is one of the most uh, enjoyable things for me to uh, work on when I'm making comic books. And this one, this one took a long time. Uh, some of the straight lines, I, I'll use a repeatograph line, but the rest of these, they're done with a brush. So the majority of everything here is brush work, except for the longer lines. So let's compare that with the published page. And there you have it. That's the published page, and here's the original art. What I like about this page is they made a second print variant right over here. This is the second print variant edition, and they use that image for the cover. So I was pretty happy to see that as cover. Very, very cool. Second print variant. 
So I don't know if it says second print inside, but uh, you can pause this video and check that out, like uh, that over here, right over here. Okay, moving on, we're gonna go to the next page. Next page I worked on is page 18. So let's look for page 18. So uh, that's uh, not this one. Okay, right over here. Uh, right over here, here's page 18. So this is the one that I worked on. So let's take a look at the comic book. Comic book, uh, first panels, uh, he stopped there and there's a truck coming by and he jumps out of the car in the second panel and then the Hulk falls down and smashes and then there's uh, like a lot of commotion going on. And let's check out the original art. The original art is right over here. Okay, here's the top panel. Middle panel and then the fun panel with all the wings, with all the details of the wings right over here. Okay, that's the original art. Let's see them side by side, side by side like this. Okay, now let's look at the next page. Next page I worked on is page 20. Page 20, let's flip forward uh, right over here. Uh, not this one, this one. So let's take a look at the comic book. Here's the comic. Uh, feel free to pause the video so you can uh, take a closer look and look at it a little bit longer if you like. That's the comic book with the colors. And here's the original art. Here's the original art uh, to the Hulk. Last call, uh, issue one, one shot, uh, page 20. Uh, pencils by Dale Keong, inks by Walden Wong. Right over here. Here's another panel with the Hulk. And then the bottom panel. And let's take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison. So right over here, side-by-side -side comparison. Here we go. Okay, let's look at the, the next page that I worked on. Uh, next page, right over here. This is page 22, page 22. So 20, 21, 22, right over here. This is the next page. Well, well let's look at a look at some of the other inkers. So that's their work. And right over here, that's uh, the colors of the published book. Right over here. And let's look at, take a look at the original art. The original art's right over here. The middle panel, the woodsy texture, that was a lot of fun. Uh, white ink on top of black lines. Uh, hatch lines. When I, when I do these hatch lines, I like spacing them uh, evenly as much as possible. And then here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the original art right over here with the page. Let's take a look. Okay, now next page is page 27. This is the fun page. I think this is one of the first pages I worked on uh, when I was asked to step in. So that's page 27. Let's look, take a look at some of the other pages here. And then we'll stop when it gets to my page right over here. Yeah, and one of the nice compliments I got from Dale Keown was he enjoyed my inks over his pencils. So that, that was nice. I hope to work with him again sometime in the future. So here's the first panel of the published art with the colors. Here's the second panel. And then here's the third panel. Just like that. I enjoyed doing all the, uh, the hair detail. That was a lot of fun. And let's look at the original art right over here. The first panel. Crack, right over there. And then the second panel. Look at the details on the fur. That was a lot of fun. I enjoy working on this part. That was so much fun. And then the last panel, this is this nice panel, right over here. Let's take a look at that. And we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's the original art next to the comic. Okay, and then we'll take a look at the next page, next page, my last page, page 29. So 27, this page 27, 28, and then 29. So uh, earlier I, uh, I mentioned a lot of times uh, comic books, when it's color, you, you lose some of the uh, details on, on the line work. So let's take a look at the art here. Here's the colored comic. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. Does it glare? I, I would adjust it so there won't be any glare. Okay, right over here. 
Okay, let's take a look, for, look at the first panel. So a lot of blood and bruises over there. But let's take a look at the original art. In the original art, you'll see that there's much more line work that you can't see on the published page. So, so let's take a look at the original art right over here. You see all those hatch lines and rendering and all those whiskers. Like all that disappears in the color because it's just colored uh, a little bit darker. See, we'll put that right next to each other so you can see. Well, that's one of the reasons why I enjoy looking at black and white art uh, more. Color is pretty good every so often, but black and white, I like looking at the black and white. So I added a lot of details right over here on this panel, but in the colors, you don't really see that much of it. So I'll put that right next to each other so you can see. See all the fur, all the hair, all that. Okay, we'll look at uh, this panel. Okay, let's continue looking at this. And then the last two panels. Okay. Now let's do a side by side comparison. So here's the published page. Okay. And here's the original art to that right over here. And then we'll take a look at the rest of the book. So the rest of the book is just, uh, well, just two more pages. So right over here. And then just Deadpool page that uh, someone else worked on. So there you have it. That's the original art. So I'm going to. This is the first print, uh, Mar uh, in first print Incredible Hulk, Last Call, second print variant. This variant, uh, they use uh, this image that I worked on. So let's take a look at uh, all the pages again. So here's this page. Uh, again, feel free to pause the video if you want to take a longer look. Here's the next page. Here's the other page. Well, one of my favorite pages right over here. So much fun to work on. Right over here. Uh, again, this is in uh, Walden Wall Inks. That's me, Inky over Dale Keown. Yeah. To me, this was one of the dream jobs, uh, Inky over Dale Keown, because I was looking at Dale Keown's uh, Hulk uh, way before I was even working in comics. So it was nice to work over him. So Dale, if you see this video, you know, if, there, if there's a chance to work with you again, let me know. I would love to work with you again. So right over here, that's Dale Keown's uh, pencils of the Hulk. Here's this. Page. And then this one. This one's one of my favorite pages. This one took a long time. It may seem easy, but the free hand and the precision lines using a brush. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Obviously Marvel too, because they use that to make the second print uh, variant cover. So I'm pretty happy about that. Right over here. And then here's this one. And then here. Over here. So this whole issue, how many original art pages I worked on? So I worked on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Yeah, so eight pages of original art. So this was a fun video. Uh, one of the first times I made a video where I compare it with the comic book, the published comic book next to the original art. And so you guys can see the comparison. So I, I, I always like looking at uh, original art uh, for the black and white. So that's the Hulk uh, in stores now. Right over here. There you go. That's the Incredible Hulk Last Call. This is in stores now, so check that out. This is the first print, and this is the second print variant. I was pretty happy when I saw this image as the second print uh, variant cover because this image is one of the pages I worked on on the inside of the comic book. So if you enjoyed this video where I would take one of the books that I worked on and place that alongside with the original art for you to compare the size next to the original comic book and also see the black and white before it's published in, in color, uh, please comment down below and let me know. This way I can make more of the same type of videos for you, uh, comic book next to original art. Please like, share, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't 
haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell. That notification bell is when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to see it on your feeds. Check out my website. My website is waldenwallart.com. On my website, there's a gallery, there's a blog, there's a links to all sorts of different things that you can see that I've worked on. And if you enjoy these videos that I make for you, please think about supporting me over on Patreon. My Patreon is patreon.com slash waldenwallart. Over there, just different tiers of support that you can think of. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, let me know, and take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.